Natsuki reads in silence, save for the periodic flutter of a page being released from beneath her thumb. I think it would sound a little something like this. Is this good? Is this what you want? All right, from Sayori's side, only the light tapping noise of her pen meeting the paper can be heard. I didn't know this was gonna be such an ASMR episode. Hello, and welcome back to Mr. Red Play's Doki Doki Literature Club. Uh, guys, I'm so excited for uh, whatever's gonna happen next because uh, I don't know if it's going to be horrific. I suspect it probably will be. Uh, but either way, the first three stories that we've encountered here so far have been introducing various members of the club. We have Monica. We have Sayori. We have Yuri. And we have Natsuki. How you doing? Uh, which is fun. And now they're all in. They're all introduced. They're all part of it. They've resolved all their issues. It's going to be a happily ever after uh, for three stories uh, part one and part two for each of them, so nothing bad will happen, obviously. Also, it's like a side universe, and Monica's a sentient machine thing that can kill everyone at any time. So let's begin the side story. I believe this one's Balance, part one. And here's Yuri's manga closet. Or, sorry, Natsuki's manga closet. Yuri, I'd like to apologize. I meant to say Natsuki. Natsuki! While well, Natsuki is messing with the orientation of her manga in the closet shelves, Sayori approaches from behind and pulls her into an embrace. What? <laughs> Hi! They're off to their old tricks already. Hi! The literature club has been in full swing since Natsuki joined. Including her, the club is now compromised of four members. Sayori, Natsuki, Yuri, and Monica. Uh. Each club member had received a day in the spotlight to share all their favorite kinds of literature with each other. Uh, each club member had received blah, blah, blah. Natsuki was first and shared her passion for manga. Then Sayori shared her love for poetry as well as how she goes about writing it herself. Yeah, she just kind of sits at a notebook and she chooses random words <laughs> and people like it, I guess. Monica, who has multiple literary interests because she's the most developed and nuanced one, decides to, decided to focus her day on short stories. Much like these. Monica. And finally, Yuri managed to demonstrate her obsession with fantasy with a little help and encouragement from Sayori. After the week was spent on their presentations, Monica decided to give the club members this next week to freely explore each other's literary interests. Sayori, having spent most of her time in the club so far with Yuri's fantasy books, is rather excited to begin her journey into Natsuki's manga collection. I want to read with you today! Tell me which one I should pick! Ah, well, that kind of depends on the kind of stuff you like. I mean, there's romance, drama, comedy, mystery. I like all of those things. Siori reaches out and pulls a random book from the shelf and inspects the cover. Shouldn't this girl be wearing more clothes? Y you wouldn't like that one. In a panic, Natsuki snatches the book from Sayori's hand, then replaces it in the shelf in a less conspicuous location. Although, they can't be up too high because... Natsuki. Okay, well, if you really have no preference, then let's just start with something that's easy to get into. A lot of these don't start to get really good until a few volumes in, and I wouldn't ask someone to make that kind of commitment unless they're already really into manga. This could be another criticism of uh, Doki Doki Literature Club, where <laughs> it takes a long, it takes a while for it to become interesting. I'm being coy, in case you haven't <laughs> seen or played <laughs> the initial game, which you should. I could handle it. I did it with Yuri's book, at least. Well, I'm more considerate than that. Although, I'm kind of impressed by your attention span if you put that much effort into her books. No, I have the intention span of a donut. But I love my friends, and I can do anything if it's for them. Well, okay then. Let's pick you something even donuts can read. I didn't say I was a donut. I just said I had the intention span of one. Uh-oh, they're gonna fight. Oh no, it's a miscommunication again. Ah, oh, you were just trying to call me sweet. You're so cute. Okay, it's fine. I was worried, but it's fine. Nope. How did you get to that conclusion? And don't call me that. A donut? Cute. Aw, oh, how come? I just don't like it. I don't need a reason. That's what he yanks a book from the shelf and closes the closet doors. If someone asks you to stop, then you just need to stop. People need to realize that. 
I I'm sorry, I didn't really mean to. I'm moving my camera all about. It's shifting around. We're good. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, I really didn't mean to hurt you. Nah, sorry, it wasn't you. Natsuki shit. Ooh. Natsuki shakes her head while pulling a second chair over to her desk. I was talking about something else. I didn't mean to get angry all of a sudden. Natsuki averts her gaze and mumbles. You're, you're like, well, a, a nice person, so I wasn't, I wasn't talking about you. I still learned a valuable lesson. Siori speaks softly as well. My watch is going off. This is a, a disaster of an episode. Just everything's going wrong. We're gonna be fine though. We're gonna power through. Sayori speaks softly as well, feeling shy after receiving the unexpected compliment. Well, anyway, here's the book. So just start with it whenever you feel like. What's it about? Well, it's like a comedy and there's romance too, obviously. Sayori looks at the title. It's called Love is Another Word for Luck. It's about a girl who keeps accidentally running into the same guys, and then you find out like, well, you should just read it. They're vampires, I know, I've already read it. But you have to tell me what you think. I can already guess who you're gonna ship yourself with. <laughs> it would be so funny if I'm right. Ship? I don't get it. Ah, never mind. Let's not worry about that yet. Yeah, we'll only get shipped together in the fan fiction. <laughs> and you're not gonna wanna read that, Sayori. Don't read it. Just. Make sure you tell me what you think. Oh, okay. I'll start then. Hey, maybe tomorrow we can do poetry too. Oh, um, yeah. I guess. But don't you want to finish this first? Yeah, but we can do both. I mean, unless you don't like poetry, then I won't make you or anything. But I will kill you. No, it's just, well, never mind. We can worry about it tomorrow. Tsuki, what are you, uh, what are you going on about there, Nats? Nats? Old Nat Natsy? <laughs> Nancy? <laughs> Natsuki Drew? Hey! That's funny. I, that, that, that's funny. After the club meeting ends and Natsuki and Yuri leave, Monica stands up. No, she strikes up a conversation with Sayori. I see you got better to share some of her manga with you. I really want to become better friends with her. She's so enthusiastic and expressive. I could listen, I could just... I could just listen to her talk. She's so c Ah, I'm not sure if I meant I can't say that to her if I just can't say that at all. So what? Nothing. I'm a woman of respect. Hey, that was a different episode. But Natsuki is a woman of cute. <laughs> oh, I said it. <laughs> What's so bad about that? I don't know, but you know, there's one thing I'm kind of worried about. Sometimes I'm afraid that Natsuki actually doesn't like me very much. Oh, that's ridiculous. How come you feel that way? Well, I mean, she literally said that she hates me on multiple occasions. Kind of mixed feelings, anyway. Just little signs, like how she only says hi to me after I say hi to her first. And it feels like she only gets excited to talk to me when it's about manga or others and other stuff she likes. She just seems dismissive a lot. She was like that when I brought up poetry. Yeah, but that doesn't mean she doesn't like you. She's probably just, ah, you know. Maybe. <laughs> My stupid head is just making me worry for no reason. It likes to do that. It's okay. Try not to worry so much. Everything will be great. But you can always talk to me about any concerns that you have. I'm here to help. You're the best. Sayori gives Monica a quick hug. <sighs> well, I'm gonna keep trying because I love her and I wanna get closer to her. You got this. All right, well, that's that's nice. I don't really know what the hardcore drama is going to be yet. After the next club meeting starts, Sayori is the last one in, as usual, trotting into the room like a horse. She seeks Natsuki sitting alone by the closet, reading what must be manga. Without hesitation, Sayori pulls up a chair and plops herself down right next to Natsuki. Hello there. <clears throat> Hello there. Hi. What you reading? Can I read it with you? Natsuki pulls the book away from Sayori. You can't just start in the middle. There are spoilers. Besides, what about the one I gave you yesterday? Sorry, I was just curious. Wait, I'm confused. Did she take the book? She okay, so Natsuki's reading a book. Uh, Sayori pulls up a chair and plops herself down right next to Natsuki. What you reading? Can I read it with you? Natsuki pulls the book away from Sayori. Oh, I guess like she's just holding it herself, you know? She's holding it herself, and then she's just like, eh. You know, like away from Sayori. 
I don't know about all that. Uh, sorry, I was just curious. Well, anyway, I've been waiting forever since this volume to come out, and it just came out yesterday, so... Oh, that's exciting. Well, I'll let you read it then. Mm-hmm. Can I sit next to you, though? Uh, sure. Natsuki plops herself down next to Sayori. <laughs> Didn't she already do that? Wait a second. Wait, I'm confused. Sayori pulls up a chair and plops herself down next to Natsuki. Uh, Sayori plops herself down next to Natsuki. I might have said it wrong the first time earlier, but it's fine because it's not fine. Natsuki reads in silence, save for the periodic flutter of a page being released from beneath her thumb. I think it would sound a little something like this. Is this good? Is this what you want? All right, from Sayori's side, only the light tapping noise of her pen meeting the paper can be heard. I didn't know this was gonna be such an ASMR episode. Time passes. Sayori's paper is filled with scribbles, and the margins are lined with stick figures. Natsuki lets out a deep sigh and closes her book. Did you finish? No, but it's a good stopping point. My head is swimming. I need a break. Natsuki stretches her arms. Aren't you bored? No, I was writing. Oh, I saw all the stick figures and thought you were just bored. I just draw those when I'm thinking or waiting for inspiration. I made friends with them all. <laughs> this one is sad because she thinks the night sky is pretty, but she can't look up at the stars in public without everyone thinking she's a weirdo. And this one has problems with his back, but the doctors can't figure out what's wrong with him. Ah ha ha, what the heck? You're the weirdo. Wanna read the poem I'm working on? Sure, I guess. Sayori slides the paper over to Natsuki. As Natsuki reads the poem, she furrows her eyebrows. Mm. She slides the paper back over to Sayori. Don't you ever feel weird just sharing all your thoughts and feelings like that? I mean, your poems are, like, really emotional. Is that bad? Well, no, it's just an observation. I think people can get closer to each other uh, if they find ways of expressing their feelings. Expressing their feelings. Well, Natsuki begins to protest, but she can't find a good way of putting her thoughts into words. Doesn't that depend more on the kind of friends you have? I don't know. I don't know, to each their own. But I've never met anyone that I'd feel comfortable sharing my poems with. It, not that it's you, it's just how I am, so... You write poems? No, you never told me that. Uh, I thought you just wrote other, wrote other stuff. Yeah, that too, but, uh... You should, I mean, would you ever want to share? Like I said, I don't do that. But, can we talk about something else? I'm sorry, it's not your fault. It just makes me uncomfortable. I can't help it. It's like every conversation with these people is like swimming with explosives and they're all about to just like murder each other. Oh, okay. All right. Still, I'm sorry. It's fine. Well, let's move on to something else that makes us both happy. I should continue the book you gave me since I didn't get very far yet. Sure. All right. So things seem to be off to a start. Over the next few days, Siori begins each club meeting by approaching Natsuki with unwavering enthus enthusiasm. It's Natsuki! Don't do that. Natsuki! What did I say? Stop. Hi, Natsuki! Oh boy. All right, Sayori. At the end of one club meeting, Monica, who has become rather invested in Sayori's friendship mission, starts an innocuous conversation with Natsuki while she packs up. Can we talk to somebody other than Natsuki, please? It's cool that you've been finding time to spend with Spader. She was pretty excited for the chance to read manga with you. Yeah. I'm sure you've been enjoying the chance to share it too, right? Yeah, mostly. Hmm? Natsuki glances over her shoulders. He doesn't reply further. What's on your mind? Nothing. I don't talk about people behind their backs. Uh. Natsuki falls silent, but she just fidgets instead of getting back to what she was doing, as though she wants to say more. It's okay to share your feelings. That's different from talking about someone behind their back. I guess. I just hate when people talk about me behind my back, so I better than, than, I'm better than to do it to others. Monica shares a bright smile. <laughs> Her smile lights up. It's like she has an LED light in there or something. Monica, why? You're really considerate. Um... Thanks, I guess, but it doesn't feel like it. You could trust me. Natsuki stands in silence for a moment, still fidgeting. I just feel smothered sometimes. I'm not used to being like all over. I'm not used to someone being like all over me right after we meet. I mean, it's fun to hang out with her, but 
I just have no control over the pace. I can't just meet somebody and instantly become best friends with them and, like, share everything about myself. That's not how it works. I just want to chill out sometimes. Oh, I didn't realize that was happening. Man, Sayori is such a evil person. We should kick her out of the club. It's fine. Why would you? Why, it's fine. Why would you have? I know. I just feel bad about it. I know spit or so. I should have realized. Monica navigates through a tinge of guilt, which has surfaced mainly due to her being the only one who previously encouraged Sayori's <sighs> behavior. Despite not knowing the situation, Monica can't help but feel a little responsible. Do you want me to talk to her about it? No, I wouldn't like that. Well, I could. I don't know. I could, like, divert her into another club activity for you or something. No way. That would be so underhanded. And mean. Sorry, I didn't think that one through. Besides, just because I complained about it doesn't mean I'm asking for someone to solve my problems for me. True. I'm sorry. I guess I just instinctively want to try to solve problems, even if I haven't been invited to. It's fine. <laughs> I would talk to Sayori about it, but it would make things really weird between us. I feel like it would make her just constantly be afraid that she's bothering me. I don't know how just to keep things natural. Well, if you think you do a good job expressing all your feelings, she would totally understand. Sayori really wants to be the best she can be for other people. I mean, Peter does that. Who's Sayori? I think she would actually be happy that you want to improve your French weather. Maybe. Uh, it just feels so dumb talking to somebody about how to be friends with them. That's just weird and not cool. Monica shrugs. It's the litter club. Then she mumbles through a stifled laugh. It's not the cool. <laughs> it's not the cool club. That's a good one, Monica. Hey. Aha, <laughs> uh aha, -huh, uh -huh. sorry. That just. That just tickled me for some reason. Look, I know that you're kind of in a tough spot and that it's hard for you to really express yourself, but you've really demonstrated to me that you're great at self reflection and critical thinking, even if it doesn't feel like it to you. I think that's the most important part of being able to navigate these through these things. So, I believe you'll find the right thing to do. Well,. Natsuki instinctively starts to reject the compliment. Reject yourself! <laughs> but she can't find any excuse to do so. Thanks. Natsuki gathers her things, then she finishes her thought in a mumble. And I'm still glad I joined the club, even though it's weird sometimes. Monica smiles, but Natsuki turns her back. And walks away before waiting for a reply. It's an unusual it was an unusual way of Natsuki to express her appreciation, but Monica knew what she meant. It made Monica feel like everything really was going to be okay. Nothing else will go wrong ever. Hey! That's the end. We did unlock some more music, which that's what I call it, music. Some people call it music. I don't know why. Alright, well, it's in here somewhere. Uh, and then there's, so the next side story, it's Balance Part 2. I really wish that there was something more about these files that we could look into. I want to try to find something real quick. I want to, I want to look at one file. And what does tower rotation mean? What does that mean? And, and this might be a cheat, but, uh, we have 14.txt here. It's found in 501. I just kind of found that. Uh, I wonder what the time, it's like, can we look anywhere for anything that mentions 14? Is there anything anywhere that mentions 14? I don't think so. I also kind of, I, I, I want to, but I don't want to run this reset because I, I don't have a Monica file right now when I'm doing all this. Not that I think it matters, but maybe if you open the Monica file, like you can't open any of these, but maybe you could open the Monica file. I don't know why. I don't know why. I just want to do something. Here we go. Five, three, four. That's some numbers. Five, three, four. It's nothing. Just what I was hoping for. And this one, 404. Did we already look for that and it was nothing? Oh, it is something. Oh, but did we not have a time for it or did we? When was that mail? Did we do this? Did we already do this? Let's do 1206. I'm just going to do straight up 1206. Like I'm not going to bother making it uh, 1205 because I can get there in time if I hurry. Got it. Damn you. Damn you. All right. Well, what then? Oh, maybe it has to be. Oh, maybe it has to be Friday, December 6, 2019. Oh, my God. Could you imagine if it had to be a specific date as well? Could you imagine? 
that would be very sneaky because I do bet that a lot of people, I don't know about a lot, some people would probably wait until, wait, oh, shut up, I saw it, I saw it. You can't tell me I didn't see it because I saw it. Now, I don't remember what it was, but I saw it. Anyway, but we'll deal with that later. Let's check out this mail first. Uh, okay, so nothing new there, but what if we go to 404? No, oh, come on, that wasn't it. Okay, but I saw it, I saw it. All right, here we go, it's 8.33, and we're gonna go to 344. We can do this, we can do this. It says memory okay. Good to know. All right, we're logged in. Oh, I got new mail. Uh, well, I don't know why it said we have new mail. We don't. Uh, let's go to 344, though. Hell yeah, MES! Infrastructure, software, communication systems. We understand the modern day challenges of running an enterprise company with efficiency and reliability. That's why you can count on us to get the job done, so you can focus on the business that matters most. With world-class engineers and industry-leading specialists, Metaverse Enterprise Solutions will always deliver solutions that last. Cost per year analysis shows that the Metaverse Solutions say, saves up to 30% in the long run, and our flexible support model ensures that quality can be delivered at the price point that is right for your company size. Your time is valuable. That's why from planning to design to installation, our experts do the work for you. Filling out your simple questionnaire is all it takes for our team to recommend the right plan and provide an affordable quote. Excellence is right around the corner. With solutions you can count on and experts you can trust, this is our promise to you. You're in good company. All right. I don't really know what that means. Uh, oh, I can't read it now. Well, I did that took a screenshot, so it's fine. What does it mean by uh, help is around the corner or whatever? And why did it say I have new mail when I very clearly don't? Oh, wait, by the way, these are going in reverse order. Six, seven, eight, nine. Ooh, does that mean that there's going to be five more mails? Could be, counting down. Okay, so somebody hired out Metaverse Enterprise Solutions for this. And I don't know why. But anyway, we're going to end the episode here. Uh, thanks for watching. Tune in in two days for more of this, more exciting this. Uh, we're going to do the next episode, Balance. It's going to be good. Uh, see you then, everybody. Until then, I've been Mr. Red. Stay spooky out there. And remember, <laughs> keep watching.